Looking for a little holiday cheer? Well, you have come to the right place. We have Santa, we have the Grinch, and we have all of the Christmas traditions. But 2020's been a little different, and it might just be time to start some new ones. After the year that has been going on, I think it's time for a little relief and just to enjoy the holiday. Hey, we're with you, buddy. And Jennifer Kosnick's family agrees. They're also starting new family traditions after facing a tough year themselves. It's been a very difficult year for us. I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I'm going through chemo. And this is our first time ever cutting down a live tree because we wanted to start a new family tradition. And they picked out the perfect tree from this family-run Christmas farm. What greater thing is there for everyone to come out and get a fresh Christmas tree and take it home and decorate it and everyone's around the tree, you know. I mean, it's quite a celebration. A reason to celebrate. I think this year really made us realize that it's not about the things, that it's really about the people and the experiences. We're celebrating holiday traditions, new and old, and we have picked the perfect spot from the snowy Rocky Mountains. We're in Georgetown, Colorado, and we've got positive stories from all across the country, getting you ready for the holidays. I'm your host, Lindsay Boach, and this is Good to Know. It's all for that feeling, knowing that those kids are gonna wake up Christmas morning. It makes that warm, fuzzy feeling in my heart. We've always given back you know, of our time, talent, and treasures, and this is a way of doing it. They're not just getting a card, they're getting a message from us saying, we care about you. This is the equivalent of a warm hug, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. She tugs my heart. She inspires me. She keeps me going. I am amazed at how she has just flown and taken off. Teaching my children to dream and dream big. No matter if you keep dreaming, and I promise you it will pay off. Christmas magic is still alive for them, and it makes it so for us as well. Oh, my God. Start with a mission to save Christmas. He has always had a love for the man who makes a list and checks it twice. Christmas has always been very special to me since I was a boy. I was raised in the prairies. While she has always adored a beautifully decorated evergreen. I grew up in Poland and in Poland uh, Christmas is the biggest holiday there is. Together, Larry Hirschberger and Ella Benarek are creating an empire of Christmas themed oil paintings. And it all stemmed uh, to my own inner child and, uh, you know, how he pictured Santa. And the big guy at the North Pole started to take notice. Next thing you know, I'm being friended by hundreds of Santas on Facebook. I realized that all of them had my work somewhere in their homes. So as the pandemic began to threaten Santa's busy season, Larry and Ella began to worry. Because they make their entire year's income in the last three months of the year and gone. Then they started thinking about the kids. We have a five-year-old, and I was like, wait a minute, I can't take Julia to see Santa this year. I said to him, hmm. Larry, you're the Santa guys. You gotta save Christmas. So Larry and Ella, with the help of their bearded friends, put together a network of 100 professional Santas from five different countries and called it howtosavechristmas.com. Macy Santa, Disney Santa, Mall of America Santa, um, these are the who's who of Santa's. Families around the world can schedule a Zoom call with the jolly old Saint Nick of their choice. Every Santa is unique. Every call is different. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no green screens here. Each Santa is in a real live set. And at the end of the call, the child's photo will be dropped right next to him, like they were actually there in the workshop. We are on a mission to bring joy mm -hmm. and hope to those families around the world, not only the children, but families. Literally yesterday, going, okay, when is the truck going to get here? Is the truck going to get here in time? No stockings, Santa, or sleigh inside. Oh, I tell you, this is awesome. 
But at Raba, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's one of the best events of the whole year. Even in frightful weather, Andrew Mann and Ed Hellerman. All the way around. Got it. All the way around. Woohoo! Members of the Richmond Area Bicycling Association work harder than elves. That just always gives me those butterflies and gives me that kind of sense of accomplishment and support. They've been waiting months for this day and trailer to arrive. Well, just tell me when it's time to stop. Inside, boxes of Christmas magic. Got it. Bikes delivered not from the North Pole, but New Jersey. Another foot, another foot, ho! The cycles are destined for children whose families cannot afford them. This is going to be some of the smaller 12-inch boys' bikes. So these would be the ones for like the age group three to five to six year olds. And it's not like I haven't done this before. Andrew Mann, a lifelong cyclist from Hanover, has been cranking out this bike bonanza for a dozen years. But I think we all remember back to that Christmas, that first bike you ever got. It's your first taste of freedom. It's the first time you've got your own mode of transportation. Robo members go the extra mile to buy nearly 350 bikes. Each year, we raise close to $25,000. Volunteers will assemble the cycles, big and small, in early November. This is nice and sturdy. This is real steel. Once the bikes are built, they will be delivered to Christmas mothers across central Virginia. These are the first bike that this kid's going to ever have. Andrew, Ed, and other members lament never meeting the children on the receiving end of their gifts. As far as they're concerned, the bikes come from Santa Claus. Still, the thought of providing so much joy keeps them pedaling year after year. So this is going to be amazing for all the kids. They get to have a new bike on Christmas Day. All right, last two. The Raba Bicycle Giveaway, a two-wheeled Christmas tradition rolling right along. That's the last one. We are done. Ah, perfect. That always gets these cyclists pumped. But it's all for that feeling, knowing that those kids are going to wake up Christmas morning. It just it makes that warm, fuzzy feeling in my heart. Now we get to put them all together. Christmas cards are the perfect way to spread a little love through the holidays, and this Colorado woman is spreading a lot of love. If dedication to a passion. Nothing would be anything without her. Okay, and away we go, folks. Distinguishes a champion from a crowd. This is just an amazing thing that she does. Marlis Hallbison just might be that one who stands out. They're not just getting a card. They're getting a message from us saying... We care about you. For the past three years, she's transformed her Wheat Ridge home into a smaller version of Santa's workshop. Sending you love and prayers. A passion project. My husband was in the military and, in, and guarded the Van Berg Gate in Berlin. In 2018, she personalized 2,700 Christmas cards for troops overseas. Last year, 18,000. And this year... How are you? Good to see you. Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. I heard you did a whole bunch this year. 40,000. After visiting three stores, I have bought 35,000 cards. She's also received about 5,000 donated cards. Cards come every day. Yesterday, I got a bag of cards. The plan this year was to have multiple card writing parties. We were going to have everybody for the fun night write cards. Well, of course, the pandemic prevented that. And yet, somehow, Alrighty. this 78 year old would find the silver lining. It was wonderful. I was never bored. Everybody said, oh, I'm so bored. And I go, well, why don't you write some cards? <laughs> it's also been said you can't expect everyone to have the same dedication as you. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, I was thought that you find the best help at the end of your arms. And so it was. This one-woman show. Just Christmas cards. Who amazed us last year, did it again this year. Beyond proud. I mean... This has just given her even more. Don't cry, because <laughs> you're going to make me cry. 40,000 cards. I can't stop it. It's in my blood. Now they're on their way to soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines overseas. This does make such a huge difference in a GI's life, you know? I mean, you get a card from home, you know? It just, it just makes you feel good. It just brightens your day. Hopefully it just keeps spreading. Just spread love.
there's so much more that's good to know. We're in the holiday spirit. Christmas magic is still alive for them. They, um, and it makes it so for us as well. There were a few Christmases in my own life where I was exactly where these kids are and I want things to change for them. Stay with us, it's all positive here. It's good to know. Thank you.